certainly in the last couple of years with so much data out on the internet that is not good data, that is not accurate, it's created challenges for both consumers as well as for the realtor community. There is a plethora of information and consumers have access to a lot of it. I think realtors, for maybe a narrow window, have the opportunity to have the best data and the most accurate data and the way of connecting that data that means something to the business. And I think that that's a value that the MOS can help them in, and that's key, very key. The stance of the association and the MLS is to really make sure that our members are as educated as they can be concerning where their data is going. One of the things that I think is very concerning to the industry, as well as to our members, is oftentimes they put the data into the multiple listing service, and they have no idea where that data ends up. Our MLS sends data out to Realtor.com and to our local newspaper. And currently, we send it to one other location, which is our syndicator. So we're sending one feed to our syndicator, and it's our brokers, our participants, who are the ones who then have the ability to decide where they want their listings to go to. So the MLS is not making that decision. That is made at the broker level, and the broker can decide if they want it to go to X, Y, and Z syndication sites or uh, other ones, or they can send them to all but it's at their decision. So we send one feed to a listing syndicator who has access to about 600 different sites. They choose which ones they go to. The data won't just flow automatically to those sites. Our members are gonna have to make uh, choices and say, okay, I want my data to go to this site. No, I don't want my data to go to that site. And I think by empowering our members, we're giving them control. We're giving them uh, what is necessary for them to make the best decisions with their consumers. So the MLS sets up rules, sets up regulations to keep the industry standards. And it's really what it's about, is having standards that protect realtors and protect consumers. We have rules and regulations, um, and the board is very fair and balanced in administrating those. And I think it's a wonderful way to conduct business. I've dealt in other markets and done business in other countries even where it is the wild, wild west. Everybody kind of rolls their eyes when we talk about rules because they think that's a business inhibitor. But without the rules, there's chaos. It is meant to be the end-all be-all of accurate information. So when uh, agents and the like get angry with me, you know, with all the fines that go out, it's not because we want to find them, it's because of the fact that we want to A, get accurate information, and B, teach them that to avoid getting that fine, which upset you to begin with, make sure you have the most accurate information in the system to begin with. If you want accurate data, and if you want the tool to work properly, we have to ensure that the integrity of the data is as sterling as possible. We don't want to find people, but we have no other way to create an incentive to make sure that the data is there for all the other tools, for all the other members to use. So to protect the consumer, to protect the broker, and to protect the agent is why the information in the MLS has got to be the most accurate. It helps your buyer, it helps your seller, it helps all the brokerages, and if it's not accurate, you're, you're working in falsehoods, and then you're going to harm someone, yourself and your clients. We are not satisfied until every member who actively uses it feels that they have the best tool in their arsenal. And for that reason, we have staff dealing with the, uh, the vendor, CoreLogic, to make sure that every issue, every glitch, everything that comes up is addressed in a manner consistent with our standards. We are the primary source of the data. We are the Rosetta Stone of the data. So it's our job to make sure that the information and the data is accurately given to whatever conduit that consumers want to read. And knowing they can rely on that data because they know that data came from the multiple listing service, in this case the Hudson Gateway multiple listing service, ultimately that is a value that flows directly back to the MLS participant.